My name is Michael Nolan, and I am uh, appearing here on behalf of the Yolo County Taxpayers Association. Uh, the Taxpayers Association has never opposed a parcel tax before, but it does now against Major H. And there's a few reasons why. Uh, if you let's just look at the arguments in favor of it. The idea is for the by the proponents and the school board is that it's necessary to keep the school district the way it is and uh, that the state is shortchanging our schools. The problem with that is that we have a parcel tax that has risen to now $533. The school board wants it to raise it to $620 and to add a cost of living increase calibrated to the Los Angeles and San Francisco metropolitan districts. Um, the Incre 10 years ago, our, uh, in 2008, the parcel tax was $166. The increase came because of the state budget crisis. And at that time, a number of parcel taxes were adopted because it was argued it was needed for a temporary measure, uh, an emergency. And now we're told that the emergency is now systemic, that we're always going to be short. What it reminds me of, of is the... Uh, People that we know who get sick go to the hospital, they get medication, they get pain, pain medication. Then they're released, they go home, they're cured, and they're still hooked on the pain medication. In this instance, you have to look at it, that the district has become hooked on parcel taxes, and, the, and it's a bad policy for the district to rely so heavily on special taxes. So I would just say that the amount, as I said, was $620. It's calibrated to increase every year according to the CPI in Los Angeles and San Francisco. The, the problem with that is that if, say we just, those areas, LA and San Francisco, have 3% inflation, we'll have over a $750 parcel tax before the end of this eight years. However, we could easily those areas easily could have a uh, jump in inflation. And I remember double-digit inflation. And back in the 1970s, LA and San Francisco had 15, 16% increases. Are we willing to pay that? Well, the problem is the school board is, a majority of the school board is on record saying that they favored a $750 parcel tax. And one member argued strenuously for a $960 parcel tax with the CPI. So the automatic increase, and if you, if you doubt me, read your sample ballot. Read the impartial analysis of the county council where they say that the parcel this parcel tax shall increase every year after the first year. But the effect of this then has to be what kind of school district do we want? Uh, if we pass Measure H, we're locked in for eight years. Well, the programs that have been adopted, uh, that, that are financed by it, can't be changed or modified. And a good, a good example, though, of the arguments in favor is they often point to the foreign uh, language component of our schools. And so what a world-class program we have. Well, we have five. We teach five languages. We go from years one through six, including Japanese, Mandarin, German, French, and Spanish. My problem, though, it was a couple of years ago, Spanish too, they couldn't find a teacher. The school board was looking for anyone who, could, and they eventually hired just someone who spoke Spanish and gave them an emergency credential. And I would thought that if we were gonna have a quality program, that, that wouldn't happen. The same goes with French, where I have a kid in France, in the French language, who um, when they had, only when they had substitute teachers, did they find out, oh, how to actually pr properly pronounce the French language? Because in one instance, the teachers are non -standard, teaching non-standard French. So I'll just put it to, to this way, that I think if you look at the measure carefully, you'll find that you'll want to think twice, send it back to the school board, ask them to give, make some hard decisions, calibrate our funding with the new formula by state government, and then give us what, and tell us what we actually need to make our schools uh, what we hope that they, they should be.
Thank you.